Hey everybody, Diamond Grandma here. I'm just gonna let y'all know, if y'all hear anything, my husband is mowing and weed eating around the house. So if you happen to hear something, that's probably what you hear. But uh, I'm just getting on here to do a little chit chat. And a, uh, I have some friend mail I got today. And I wanna do another shout out cause I got some new ones. And, uh, but I got a little story to tell y'all first. This is funny, sweet tea. Paint, diamond paint with sweet tea. If y'all haven't checked her out, check her out. She's on my shout out list. She's one of my uh, YouTube sisters. Love watching her. But anyway, she'll appreciate this. Today, y'all, is May the 11th. Y'all won't see this till May the 12th. Today is my Bebo's, my little Bobo's birthday. He is four, well, is four years old today, and he has autism and he's nonverbal. And I've told y'all that before. He's learning sign language. He can say very few words. He can say mama, dad, dad, sissy, but sissy don't sound like sissy, papa, and then he signs grandma because it's the G or whatever. I don't know, it's too hard for him. But anyway, they have got a cat. And my son works part-time at the jail where I used to be the jail administrator at. And um, he's actually a diesel mechanic at Ashley. It's his full-time job, but he works part-time at the jail on the, he works every other week. So, uh, at Ashley. So anyway, he was working at the jail this weekend, Friday night, and Saturday night. But anyway, uh, my grandson has got a cat. It's a kitten. I mean, she ain't very old. She's probably a year old, probably. But anyway, her name is Artemis. He can't say Artemis. It's a female, they've had her fixed. So he calls her Meow Meow. Well, Rodney come home Saturday morning and woke Bo up and they got in the car. All of them got in the car and went to the jail. They had kittens up there that the mama wouldn't let three of them feed. She let the other ones, but three of them she just pushed away and she wouldn't let feed. Well, he told, asked Bo if he wanted a Meow Meow, another Meow Meow. And of course, you know, Bo's like, oh yes, yes. You know, he was hollering, yeah, he wanted to go. Well, y'all, they got up there, and they come home with three. <laughs> so they have four cats now, three kittens that they are bottle feeding, which the kittens are good. They running around, all that. They're not just little bitty bitty. They're probably, I'd say, five weeks old, maybe probably another week or so, and they'll be on their own eating or whatever. But anyway, they come home with three cats. And so they uh, already got one. Well, they come home with a calico one and they named it uh raw and the reason why they named it raw <laughs> is because Bo likes dinosaurs and he calls it raw raw because you know he can't say a whole lot so it's raw raw and then they brought home an orange one and they called it garfield and then my granddaughter got one that's kind of grayish smoky white mixed looking one and she named it Sparkles. So they have Ra Ra, Garfield, Sparkles, and then Artemis, but he calls them all Meow Meows. So he loves animals and they have got fish. He loves, I mean, he just loves all kinds of animals. They've got a, dogs. I'm telling you, they just got a little farm up there because he loves them. But Sweet Tea, I figured you'd like that, but I laughed because my son, you know, crumbled under the pressure. Bo got to him hugging on him he'd go he'd sign peas you know he sign language sign language p and give him a please and give him a big old hug so he crumbled so they got four cats now but today is his birthday he is four years old and he's a mess and it's hard to believe my baby is four but he is but anyway on to other things right now um i got a shout out list i've got some new ones that i'm gonna shout out uh and I got one, two, three, four, five new ones to add to the list. And I'm gonna start with them first and then I'll go back down my list again. But I will put this list in the description box for y'all so y'all can check these channels out. These people that I have added are uh, in my YouTube sister club as I call it. Um, but y'all, they have different diamond painting styles to me. Some of them do. Some of them got a little bit of the same ones. So that's what I'm telling you. That's the reason why I like to give y'all this list to give y'all an opportunity to see other women with their channels that do different things than what I do. Not everybody diamond paints the same way. 
And there's no right way, no wrong way to diamond paint. You can change your diamond paint up. I have blinged mine up before. Y'all never know what'll come out of me sometimes. I'm just crazy. But anyway, somebody left in a comment, we're all crazy. Well, y'all, up on this hill here, it gets crazy sometimes. But y'all never know what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. Y'all are gonna be actually surprised at some of the stuff I unbox. Because I have not let my true colors come out yet. Y'all have not seen my actual true colors yet. I know I unboxed an Indian the other day. And I'm sure some of y'all was probably shocked that I liked Indians. Because y'all probably wouldn't have never thought that with what I unbox on my channel. But I have done an Indian before. So, I mean, I just like them. They're colorful. This one's rhinestones. I know y'all seen it. If you watch my videos... And y'all do, because y'all comment on them. And I just want to say, I appreciate all the comments that y'all leave on them. The emails. Y'all, if y'all know of a new channel, do not be scared to email me. Comment. I want to know, because I want to help them out, too. You know? And I don't care if it's over a thousand subscribers they got. If they're getting into diamond painting, I want to help them out, you know? So, I've got one channel on here that I am going to announce that, um... She does have a bunch. She has more subscribers than I do. But I don't care. I'm going to help her out because she's my YouTube sister. I love her. She's kind. She's, I mean, you know, she's a woman getting into diamond painting. And y'all know me. I want to help you out. That's what my platform is. I want to try to help you out. So I don't care how many subscribers you got or whatever. If you are starting new with diamond painting, let me know because I want to help you. Diamond painting, I love diamond painting. I do. I love diamond painting. And one channel on here that I am going to give y'all is a gaming channel. Miss Krista is starting a gaming channel. Me personally, I do not game. But I want to shout it out because y'all have family members that probably game. I've never been one to be into no gaming or anything like that. Uh, I've always been the crafty crafter kind. But anyway, I just want y'all to know it, that it exists. So if you have family members that do game husbands at game or whatever she is doing a gaming channel and the name of her gaming channel is and i cannot pronounce this so i will spell it the gaming channel she is starting is miss lyrica l-y-r-i-q-u-e and i will put it slash by her regular channel and i'll put gaming out beside it so y'all know that this is the gaming channel so, if any of y'all have family members that game or whatever, y'all get them to check out Krista's new channel. Because she's going to do diamond painting and the gaming channel. So, a lot of people that have these channels do more than one thing. They do coloring, crafts, whatever. And I like for y'all to have a smorgasbord of things to do and to look at. Because, you know, everybody does different things. Like, just like I was talking about the diamond painting. Out of this list, y'all... Some of us do about the same things, but we have different things too. So nobody's alike. There's no right way or no wrong way to diamond paint. You can take your diamond painting and turn it to in anything you want. Y'all know I bling mine up. You'll never know what'll come out of me sometimes. I probably shock some of y'all with stuff I do and what I unbox. And I've got one coming in that's probably gonna shock a lot of y'all. I hadn't got it yet, but when I do, I will unbox it. And I'm going to say before I unbox it for y'all to sit down because y'all probably be shocked. Y'all know I'm crazy. Y'all never know. But I like, y'all, I like to be adventurous. Y'all, if y'all haven't figured that out yet, I'll try anything one time, y'all. That's just the way I am. I'll try it one time. If I don't like it, I won't do it again. You know? That's just like when I started sealing with the mem wax. And y'all, the mem wax does work. I know Sweet Tea made a comment about me using mem wax. If you will get the gloss, the clear gloss kind, make sure it's the gloss kind, your diamond paint will shine. I believe in that stuff, and Crazy Borgie uses it. She will tell you about it. It is great stuff. I just love it. But anyway, let's get back to this. Okay, and I do want to reach in this right now. Um, I have got some women that I want y'all to pray for. They're having family issues, they've had deaths, and I'm gonna tell you right now, um, let's see, Lisa Douglas Diamond Painting and more. She is a new one that I'm gonna give a shout out to. It's Lisa Douglas Diamond Painting and more. She has just lost her husband a couple of months ago to, I believe it was lung cancer, 
and they had been married over 30 something years. Y'all pray for her. Y'all remember her, think about her because she probably needs it. I know when my mama lost my daddy, it killed us kids, killed me, but I know it has to be worse for a spouse. I have not had to go through that, thank the Lord, and I hope I don't have to anytime soon or in the future. I hope me and him get to live be old age together because I know that's hard. And y'all just remember her. And Coffee and Diamonds, y'all remember her because she lost her mother-in-law. And I've lost my, I've lost two mother-in-laws because my husband's parents were divorced. So, <laughs> get that. I've lost two mother-in-laws and I've lost a father-in-law. So, I know the in-laws, they were just like my parents. You know, they were good to me. I've lost a grandmother-in-law. And they were good to me, and it's going to be hard on her, her kids, her husband. Y'all just keep them in your prayers. Because she said she was back, but y'all, it's going to be hard on them, so y'all just remember her. And y'all think about Crazy Borgie, Louise from Crazy Borgie. I believe it's her daddy and her uncle that are having health problems, but I think it's her uncle that is in the most severe condition right now, and I don't think it's going very well. I think she said the next week was going to be bad. But y'all, I watched her today and um, she kind of just about broke down. But y'all just think about her. Y'all give them hugs and love and prayers from afar because I know that we may not live by each other, but that don't matter to God. You can pray to God anywhere, anytime, and he hears you and just pray for their families. If you are a praying person, please just remember them in your prayers. Send comfort their way. And just think about that. Okay. All right. Now on to these new ones. Okay. This new one is Girly Nails 66. Now she does nails. I don't do nails. But she has some interesting looking videos for nails. But she is just now getting into diamond painting. She posted a diamond painting of some nutcrackers the other day. And she did some unboxings, I believe it was. But anyway, I watch them. When y'all tell me about channels on here, I go back and binge watch. <laughs> I do. Because I like to, you know, watch them. Because I want to support them. And I subscribe to them. So, Girly Nail 66. And y'all, some of y'all may like nails and all that stuff. And But anyway, she does diamond painting too. So, y'all check her out. Aussie Craft Mom. M-U-M. Now, she contacted me in a comment on my channel and said she had a channel. And I asked her if I could add her to my list. And she said, of course, she would love that. So, y'all check her out. Aussie Craft Mom, M-U-M. Okay, the Stealthy Crafter. Now, the Stealthy Crafter is painting with Sweet Tea's daughter-in-law. And she is the one, I think, that got Sweet Tea actually into diamond painting. So, that is the Stealthy Crafter. And she is Sweet Tea's daughter-in-law. Okay, now this next girl... I want y'all to check her out. She is a nurse from Oklahoma. Hey, Jack. <laughs> Shout out to Jack. But anyway, she unboxed a Diamond Art Club the other day. Now, it is not my style, but y'all, it was pretty. It was pretty. Y'all know that I'm into landscapes and um, any kind of dog, animal stuff, you know. Um, Diamond Art Club, I like Chuck Pinson. And I like um, Mary Conclay. She's the one that did my bubble, uh, bubblegum Spaniard and the uh, terrier I got. I can't think of what the name of it is. But anyway, I like her. And y'all know I love Chuck Pinson. Chuck Pinson is my man. I am a Chuck, Pit Chuck Pinson girl. I like um Landscapes. And there's another one on there I had noticed. I had been on their website looking, and I cannot think of what his name is. Starts with a K. Krauts. Kraut. Krauts. Something like that. He does a lot of barn, farm, you know, junk too. But anyway, Jacqueline is a nurse, like I say, from Oklahoma, y'all. I've watched her last couple of videos, and she did so good on them. And I am so proud of you, Jack. But her, the name of her channel is Jacqueline carter scott and her video she titles diamond arting with jack so i don't know if she's gonna change her channel later on to diamond arting with jack or what she's gonna do but if you'll type either one of them in you'll find her i uh will put both in the list description box 
Okay, and the last one is Lisa Douglas Diamond Painting and More. And this is the lady that I told you that had lost her husband a couple of months ago. So y'all keep her in your prayers. I did watch her videos. And y'all, she unboxed the cutest. She told me it was an old video. But I, I y'all, I don't care if they're old or not. I'm going to watch them anyway. Because when y'all tell me about them, I want to binge watch and know what I want. Find out what I want to find out about. Because I want to support all of y'all. But anyway, she unboxed this elephant. Wearing glasses, y'all. And it was the cutest thing. Cutest little thing I ever seen. But I love the animals that have glasses. I don't know why I wear glasses. And y'all, my grandson just got glasses. He's four and he's got glasses. And they look so cute on him. He, they look, oh, he's just precious. But anyway, him and my daughter, my granddaughter, she's been wearing glasses. And she got some new ones. And the new glasses she got, her mama don't like. But she told her mama, well, Grandma will like them. And y'all, I do like them. <laughs> and she said, well, I don't like them. But she made the comment that Grandma would like them. So she got some glasses that I would get. Yeah, they were cute. I mean, her mama didn't like them. I thought it was funny. But anyway. But let me go over the shout-out list. And I will put all this in the description box for y'all. It is Enza's Diamond Paint and Gallery. Crazy Borgies. Suncoast Crafting. Cunny's This and That, Crafty Mama Plans, Addicted to Diamond Painting, Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea, Liz Harrison, Scotty Dog Crafts, Miss Krista, and her gaming channel is Miss Lyrica, M-S-L-Y-R-I-Q-U-E. So, like I say, if you know anybody that does gaming, send them her way. Diamond Painting Caverns. And y'all, she just did an unboxing of a bunch of little small ones. Um, just the other day, small canvases, y'all. I love doing them little small canvases. She got them for her grandson to do. But I, I, she did, she showed me some I hadn't seen, so I'm going to have to get on there and order them. Sentimental Pastimes. California Kevin, Karen 789. Y'all, she does coloring too, and so does uh, Connie's This and That. So... That's California Karen 789. Diamond Painting with Diamond Painting Claire, which is Diamond Painting underscore Claire. Y'all, I could sit and listen to Diamond Painting Claire and Crazy Borgies all day long. I love listening to their British accents, y'all. Oh, I love it. Can't help it. I love it. And Diana loves colors. Crafting with V. Coffee and Diamonds. Cats and Crochet. Now, Cats and Crochet, if I'm not mistaken, is Coffee and Diamond's mother. Now, I may be wrong. It's either mother or sister one. But anyway, they're related. Snuggies Crafting Corner, y'all. I've just been saying Snuggies Crafting. But it's Snuggies Crafting Corner. And Shirley's Real Life. Girly Nails 66. Aussie Craft Mom. The Stealthy Crafter. Jacqueline Carter Scott. Slash Diamond Art arting with jack and lisa douglas diamond painting and more and i will put all them down in the description box for y'all to find and i want to show y'all this my grandson lost my little black and red roller i got so i sent my husband i said get me a rolling pin y'all this rolling pin was cheap he got this at walmart for five bucks it was 4.97 but i just wanted to show y'all in case anybody wanted to get one at walmart it was $4.97, and y'all, I like the rolling pin better than I do the other one because it gets down there harder on them. But anyway, I was just going to show y'all, just in case. Walmart has them for under $5. I got a surprise package today I didn't know anything about. Happy Mail. And I could kick her tail because she's done sent me stuff before, and that's Anastasia. Anastasia, I love you, girl. And you did pick out, she said, you will love this. It says, okay, I was scrolling through Amazon and saw this diamond painting, and it reminded me of you. I hope you enjoy it, Anastasia. So, Anastasia, baby, thank you. She's so sweet. She sent, done sent me stuff. But, y'all, I opened it. I'm sorry, I did. And I was so excited because this is so me. To a T, y'all, to a T. Let me take this diamond painting pen out. Krista, I've been taking them out for you, babe. And she's supposed to be sending me a, um, 
um, some more pans. So I'm gonna do an unboxing for her. So she's gonna have some good ones. Child, Anastasia, you couldn't pick out nothing. I don't like no better. You know how I am about confetti, and you know I love me some butterflies, girl. But one of these days, I'm gonna surprise y'all. But y'all look at this. Is this not gorgeous? This is a 30 by 40. She said she got it off of Amazon. And y'all, it has 20 colors on it. And I am excited about it because this is so me. I love this. Y'all know I'm from Confetti Girl. Anastasia, thank you, baby. I love it. Y'all so good to me. I'm so thankful to have such sweet people in my life because y'all bring me up when I'm feeling blue. And I just want to thank y'all for that. Y'all are my vent. Y'all are who I talk to. I don't have anybody out here during the day except for my mother. And my husband comes at night. You know, he's here. He works during the day, you know, at the shop. So, you know, it's just me. And I enjoy being able to vent to y'all. This has 20 colors, like I say, and y'all look, it's in baggies if y'all bag up. Me, I done told y'all, I am getting, I'll be 50 this year. I know Sweet Tea made a comment on one of her videos. Well, Diamond Grandma I ain't gonna be but 50. I'm a whole lot older than her. Well, yeah, she might be. She might be, I don't know. But y'all, 50 is not gonna bother me. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I'm not gonna be one of these women that's gonna sit down and squall from six weeks from now, from my birthday in November. My birthday's in November. I'm not gonna be one of these women that's gonna cry for six weeks because they turned 50. I am the type of person, I am just thankful that the good Lord gave me another day. Age is just a number. And I am thankful for every year that he has given me, and I will be thankful for everyone he gives me after 50. I am just thankful that I can breathe, and I can be here for my mother, and be here for my grandkids, and have y'all to talk to, and be here for y'all, because, you know, if y'all like me, I diamond paint a lot. I have told y'all this. I have earphones that Bluetooth. I have some beat earphones that my husband gave me that Bluetooth my phone that I take out to my mother's. I sit in a recliner right beside my mother. She's got a lift chair. And she watches 1950 TV, y'all. I cannot watch Perry Mason and all. Chicago Fire, I have done seen every episode of Chicago Fire 1,500 times. And I am about that and C NCIS New Orleans, NCIS New York, NCIS, all of them, MacGyver, Bay watch y'all I can't watch that crap I love my mom and dad but I can't watch that crap Ooh, it just drives me nuts so I listen to YouTube all day and I enjoy listening to people talk while I'm diamond paint I enjoyed the last two videos that sweet tea has done because I have been diamond painting and addicted to diamond paint Chris I hope you're watching Chrissy Chris I have started my spell queen bumblebee and i don't like much i'm hoping to finish it up tonight so i will do a completion and review for y'all when that comes around but it is looking gorgeous and i'm so excited because i have come up with the idea y'all um i am bad about hanging up diamond paintings down both sides of my hall for people to come pick from well pickings is getting slim because i hadn't done none on canvases in a while so what i'm gonna do is take all them down and put them in my grandkids' playroom in a box or something. Somebody wants some fun. I am going to do one complete wall bumblebees. Because y'all know I love bumblebees. I have done several bumblebees and I have ordered several bumblebees. So, I'm going to do one complete wall with bumblebees. And when I get it done, I will do a short video for y'all. And then the other wall, I want to do elephants, leopards, and stuff like that that I like. So I'm gonna start doing ones that I like and just put them down the hall for people when they come in, they can look at what I've done. And the ones that I don't wanna hang up, I'm gonna put in my portfolios. I have two portfolios that'll hold 60 in each one. And y'all, both of them's full and I've got them piled up. I do a lot of diamond pain, but see, I don't work. Where a lot of y'all do work, I don't work. I mean, I do work, I take care of my mom, that's work. But I get the diamond paint off and on all during the day. I may not get to sit down for very long to diamond paint at a time. 
but I'll get up and down. And um, anyway, I just have so many and I love diamond paint and I do a bunch. But anyway, I want to do that. I want to do one whole wall bumblebees because I hang all my sunflower stuff in my in my kitchen and in my laundry room with my farm stuff. And I have a bunch of farm stuff that I hang up in my living room. And I've got actual picture pictures that I have bought that's hanging in my living room that I am taking down that I'm gonna put my diamond paintings up instead because I've done several farm uh, diamond paintings. So, but anyway, I know y'all didn't want to hear that. But Anastasia, I just want to say thank you, dear. I love it. And yes, this will be one that I will hang up. I love me some butterflies. So pretty. Just love it. And I appreciate it. I appreciate everything that y'all see in me. I appreciate it so much that y'all think about me. Um, I just hope y'all enjoy watching my channel. I try to make it to where maybe I'm just me. I just put tea that way. I'm just transparent. I am the way I am. I'm just me. That's just me. But anyway, I hope I can put a smile on somebody's face every now and then. But I just wanted to get on here and chit chat a little bit. I know I have rambled on and rambled on, but anyway, but I do uh, think y'all do need this because I'm telling y'all, this is great. It was $4 at Walmart. Well, at my Walmart, it was $4.97. And it's heavy too. And I don't, this is one thing I did not have is a rolling pin. Because I make biscuits and stuff, but I always do drop biscuits. I don't never do, you know, when I made biscuits, of course I do low carb now, so I don't, my husband will buy a bag of biscuits for him, you know, or whatever. But I just, that's something I just ain't never had is a rolling pin. But I like that, using it on them diamond paintings because they it pushes the beads down real good and you can just hear them pop there ain't nothing like the satisfaction of hearing drills pop oh my gosh y'all that's so great i don't know about y'all but i love to hear the drills pop and i love to roll across it and hear them all just pop or when you put them down they just pop i don't know i'm crazy i know i'm just a crazy woman but i like diamond painting but anastasia sweetie thank you for sending this to me I still have some that you have sent me that I ain't got to yet, and I will get to them. Y'all know I have to I have to throw in some PRs, I have to throw in some Amazons, and I have to throw in some friend mail ones too, so. But I ain't got to do whipping chat. Oh, and why I've got y'all on my channel. I know I have not done the drawing yet for my thousand subscriber giveaway. And y'all, I have not forgot. I've had the grandkids, like I told you, for the last 11 days. I ain't got to it. And I'm hoping and praying that I'll get to it this weekend. So, y'all still have time. I will probably draw Saturday. If it ain't Saturday, it'll be Sunday. So, y'all look down in my videos. It'll be the 1,000 subscriber videos. It'll be 1,000 subscriber video giveaways, what I think it says. And y'all get on there and y'all enter because it's not too late yet. You have to be a at least 18 years of age, you have to be a member of my channel, and you have to hashtag 64. And I know I've done said, a lot of y'all may not know what that is. If you'll hashtag 64, that used to be my son's football number in high school, all the way through school. So, I just made it easy. I don't like complicated stuff, and I know y'all don't like complicated stuff, so hashtag 64 is easy enough. But anyway, I'm gonna get off of here because I have been rambling, rambling for nearly 30 minutes. It don't take me long, y'all. My husband always says, you could talk to a fence post. And I believe it, I could. I could. But the jobs I've been in in all my lives, I used to be in the office at a manufacturing company. I was there 10 and a half years. I set up in the front window. I did uh, human resources and I did paychecks and all that junk. So, And I give people the, their... Um, application when they come in and I was talk to the plant manager if anybody come in with certain skills or whatever I always had to talk to him and I answered the phone and I was I've always been a talker though it runs in my family my sister is not that way at all we are different as night and day but uh, I've always been a talker and then I was into the jail administrator position for uh, nine and a half years 
And that was my favorite job was the jail administrator job. I didn't realize how much stress I was under though, but I have uh, gotten out of that. I will probably not ever go back to that. But I, y'all, I, last night, of course I have insomnia, I've told y'all that. Uh, one of my little jail boys that I had in jail messaged me on Facebook and said, hey mama. And I said, I asked him, I said, what are you doing up? You need to be getting you some rest and all that. And I said, how are you doing? He said, oh, I'm driving a truck now, doing good. He's cleaned himself up, doing real good. And he asked me what I was doing. I told him I was just sitting at home taking care of mama. And uh, anyway, when he hung, when he got through talking, he says, I love you, mama. I said, well, I love you too. And I'm proud of you. I want you to know how much I'm proud of you. And his name is Rodney too. And, but anyway, he's about the same age as my Rodney. But y'all, I'm telling y'all, a lot of them was just so sweet to me. And they were like my children. I didn't have any problems or any issues with any of them up there. And they still now, they'll message me on Facebook. They always call me mama, tell me they love me and all that. And I, I'm just thankful that I made a small impact maybe on their lives that maybe they'll straighten up or remember that somebody was kind to them. But y'all, I was, why I'm on that situation? I don't know if any of y'all seen it on the news. In Alabama, I think it was Lauderdale, Alabama. I think it's where it was at. There was a jail employee corrections officer that had been there for years. She had helped a prisoner escape. And I had been seeing, and it may not even affect any of y'all up where y'all live, but it bothered me because I was on Facebook and it's been on our news channel and all that the comments that people were putting on there were God awful, awful. But I just wanna say this, nobody is perfect. You have not walked a mile in her shoes. And I agree she did wrong by helping this prisoner escape. But y'all do not, they do not have to say some of the things they say about this lady because they don't know her. They said she was a fabulous employee, a great person, all that. And then, and and just in an instant, she ruined it all, which I understand that. But y'all do not, the comments that people have left have been so disgusting and has irritated me beyond end because of the way people have talked about her. Well, anyway, she shot herself. He took out, they were in a high-speed pursuit up in Indiana, I think it was. That's where they got them at. Well, she shot herself in the head. She went to the hospital. She later died. She has died. And somebody put on there, well, at least uh, the trash took itself out. Well, y'all, that, and he was a sheriff. I'll say this, he was a sheriff to one of the local counties around here, and it just plumb made me mad and disgusted me. Because you'll never hear my sheriff probably say that. But it pissed me off. And I'm sorry I shouldn't have used that kind of language. But it made me mad because he does not know that woman from Adam or Eve. And they, she might, she messed up. Yeah, she messed up. But she was a good person. And everybody makes mistakes. The only one that can judge you is God. And it just, it just irritates me the way everybody gets on this bandwagon talking about them. And it just, it just burns me up. Because I have told y'all many a times, yes, she did wrong. Yes, she did wrong. But you do not have to talk about her the way y'all have been talking about her. You know what I'm saying? It's just uncalled for because I have told y'all many a time. It takes just as much time or just as much effort to be nice as it is to be ugly. But it just irritated me. Yes, she messed up. I would have never done that. Because there's nobody in jail that would be able to do anything for me. I love my little prisoners and everything, but I love my husband and all that. She, as far as I know, was not married. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. You have never worked in this kind of uh, position or this kind of job before. These inmates have all day long to study you and to do things to get over on you you work you're working all day long 
they have nothing else to do but to watch TV and to watch you. And I'm just, I'm not saying, you know, you just don't know. But it just makes me mad that they talked about her the way they did. Because as far as everything had went around, she was a good person. As far as I, everything I've heard about her, she messed up. But, you know, and she did. I agree, she messed up. She did, she messed up. What she done was wrong. But just the way that people have been talking, and it just, it makes me mad. You know, you can be nice and say she made a mistake, you know. Yeah, she made a mistake. But you don't have to degrade her and talk about, call her names and this, that, and other, because you don't know her. You know what I'm saying? You don't know her. I'm just sorry, y'all. That's just one of my pet peeves. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I got on a rant. Forgive me. I just, you just don't want, you don't know. People react to different things differently. I have told y'all that in several videos, too. And I have said it in several more. You don't know how, like, I'll use this for an example. Chris with Addicted to Diamonds. I'm just throwing a name out there. Chris, I'm using it. Chris may feel something different or may handle a situation different than what I would do. But I have not walked a mile in her shoes and she has not walked a mile in my shoes. Our shoes ain't the same size. That's a good way of looking at it. Our shoes are not the same size. So I can't wear her shoes and she can't wear my shoes. See, people deal with stuff differently. And I have, if you hadn't walked a mile in their shoes, you don't know. And everybody's different. Everybody handles things different. Just like anxiety. Everybody handles anxiety different. Everybody has nerve problems. They handle them different. You handle your children different. You are raised, people are raised different. You know, you just don't know. And that's the way I feel. Just, you hadn't walked a mile in their shoes. You don't have to be degrading to them. You don't have to be so ugly to them and talk about them when you don't even know them. You know? And even if you do know them, all you have to do is say, well, they made a mistake. You know? But anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. That's just a rant. It used to make me so mad when people would talk about my inmates. They would be, I mean, they would degrade, degrade them and everything else. Well, I'm sorry, y'all. If it wasn't for the grace of God, I could be in there too. It takes you a lifetime to build up your reputation. And it takes you one second to tear it down. I know y'all have heard that before. They have made a mistake, and a lot of them don't know any better because that was the way they was raised. And you have to look at that, too. So I tried to be an example, and I tried to help them to where maybe they would get out of that. You know, if it was my child, I would want somebody to help my child. You know, it's just, I don't know, just help everybody. I'll get off my rant. Just be kind and help everybody. Everybody needs some kindness. You know, everybody needs kindness. And like I say, it takes as much effort to be ugly as it does to be good or be kind. So be kind to somebody. You know, be different from everybody else. Be kind to everybody else. Because everybody has walked different, is in different size shoes from you and handles things different from you. Not everybody handles everything the same. I can tell you for experience, my sister does not handle nothing the way I would handle it. And she don't handle her stuff the way I would handle it. Or I don't handle stuff, you know, we're different. As daylight and dark. We're different. Everybody's different. So, that's just my preaching for today. Be kind to somebody. Like I say, use your effort to be kind and not to be ugly. But anyway, I will get off of here. I've rambled for enough long. But anyway, I just want y'all to know, if you like what you see, hit the like button. Give face, uh, Facebook. Listen to me. Lord, have mercy. I've been on here too long. It gives YouTube... It lets them know what you like, and it helps my channel out, too. And if y'all would like to be part of this ranting, crazy, diamond grandma's channel, click that little subscription button. Come on. Come see me every day. I promise I'm not like this every day. I'm just ranting and raving. I'm just wanting to talk. But anyway, I just want y'all to know I love y'all. I love my YouTube sisters. I love my subscribers. I love my viewers. Y'all come back and see me. I hope y'all have a great day. And I hope you have a great Friday because y'all will be seeing this Friday. No. No, today's Wednesday. Lord, I'm crazy, y'all. Y'all be seeing this Thursday. So y'all have a great Thursday. And how about a great Friday, too? But anyway, I just want y'all to know I love you. Come back and see me because I'll be here.